What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the 450 North Brewing Company, and they're out of Columbus, Indiana, and this is their Slushy XL doubloons so they're calling this one a smoothie style berliner weiss that is brewed with raspberry plum chocolate coconut vanilla graham cracker and lactose it comes in at 5.48 percent alcohol by volume no ibus list in time of review this can is just under five months old i want to give a huge thanks and shout out to a very good friend of mine and viewer of the channel todd for hooking me up with this one so thank you very much todd i'll post a link in the description box to the beer mail unboxing video i did that contains all the goodies that todd hooked me up with and he hooked me up with quite a few 450 North slushies. I believe five in total. This is the first of the five that I'll be reviewing now. I believe this is the second slushy that I've reviewed since the whole uh, ABV controversy back in late 2019. Um, if you don't know the story, they basically were putting ABVs on the label that were not accurate. They were off by sometimes... Um, significant uh mar like talking like a 10 percent beer came in at like 3.5 percent um i think they were calculating them before they were mixing them with all the fruit puree and all the um other adjuncts they threw in there and unfortunately you know uh deceiving a lot of people so a lot of people very angry about that and i totally get it um i reviewed one since then and ever since uh that controversy they have started with all their slushy releases um on facebook they post the actual ABVs, they send them all to a lab and they get them back. Now, this one came in at 5.48% alcohol by volume, so hopefully that is the case. Now, the only thing about a beer like this, there's so many moving parts. I mean, you're talking about, you know, somewhere around uh, six, seven different uh, adjuncts in here. More often than not, when that happens, I'm not a huge fan, it's, you know, it's just too much, but we'll see. Now, like all the heavily fruited sours that I review on my channel now, I already poured this one off camera. It did gush a little bit, uh, but I was able to manage uh, most of it in the glass. Now, as you can see, a lot of fruit uh, puree here, residue at the top. This pours out this like, really deep magenta color. I mean, it's just like, it's purple, it's red, it's crazy. It's super thick and viscous. When I was pouring it in, it almost looked like an actual smoothie. So yeah, that's a uh, crazy looking beer. Let's get a nose. Wow. So the first thing I can tell you is that the raspberries and plum, very prominent, very fruity. Uh, I'm actually getting more of the plums than the raspberries, believe it or not. And then I'm getting the chocolate is this, this in this head in order, raspberry plum chocolate. Yeah. Not really any coconut here. Um, not getting a lot of coconut, a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. And this is pretty much like chocolate covered raspberries and plums, mostly plums. It smells dynamite. It smells really sweet. And that's another reason when you have all these adjuncts, I mean, they're smoothie style Berliner Weiss. I mean, this is a sour at heart, but with all those sweeter fruits and adjuncts, I don't think this is going to be super, you know, super sour, probably just moderately tart, but it smells pretty good. Um, I'm not really picking up on the coconut or the uh, vanilla all that much or the graham cracker. Um, it's pretty much the first three ingredients and I'm okay with that. It smells pretty awesome. So let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. And thanks again, Todd. So the taste pretty much follows the nose. A lot of plum and raspberry, and then there's chocolate. That's the vast majority of what I'm getting initially here on the palate. The body on this one is definitely fruit smoothie ass. This is like medium to full body. Like it's, it's basically, it's, I wouldn't say it's thick and chewy, but it's close. It's very close. You can just kind of see the viscosity of the beer in the glass. It's crazy. The mouth feels soft, smooth, creamy. There's carbonation here, like a mild carbonation. It's definitely undercarbed on purpose to give you that fruit smoothie sensation, smoothie style, Berliner voice, yes. The taste, I really enjoy this. And here's the thing. This is not crazy sweet to my palate. I thought it was going to be sickly sweet. The plum, the raspberry hit me right at the forefront as it carries on through the palate. The chocolate sneaks in, and that's where I get that chocolate-covered plum, chocolate-covered uh, raspberry kind of sensation. As it continues on, the vanilla sneaks in, and it has a really nice vanilla sweetness, but it's not its not huge. It just kind of accentuates the rest of the flavors. And then it finishes with a touch of coconut. The only reason I say coconut is I'm getting it a little bit, and I know it's in here. If I was doing this blind, I maybe wouldn't say coconut, but there's a little bit of like a kiss of coconut in the back end. This one finishes to the sweeter side of things, but it's not cloying. It's not sickly sweet. It has a very... Uh, we'll say moderate tartness. It's not sour, but it, there's also a little bit of acidity and a, a touch of um, tartness on the palate to let you know that the base is a sour. 
5.48%, sure. I can't tell that there's alcohol in here. This kind of just drinks like a fruit smoothie of some sort or some kind of crazy concoction like mixed cocktail. Um, it's not my favorite of the slushies, but I would be lying if I said I don't enjoy this one because it's pretty good. I thought with that many moving parts, that many adjuncts, I thought this would be all over the place, disjointed, and it's not. Um, I'm getting mostly the first three ingredients that are listed, the raspberry, plum, and chocolate with accentuation to the rest. The only thing I'm really not getting is the graham cracker. I was hoping I would get that and you get like kind of like a pie base to it. So I could you know, like a mixed mixed fruit pie or something, and it really doesn't have the graham cracker to my palate. Again, this is five months old. Maybe the graham cracker fell off. Maybe the vanilla and coconut have kind of died out. Who knows? But as is, I really enjoy this one. Like I said, not my favorite, but still pretty damn good. So I'm going to give Slushy XL uh, doubloons a uh, low 4.25 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.15 out of 5. Really good slushy. Uh, it's pretty damn tasty, and I'm enjoying it. And uh, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna split the rest of this with uh, Average Pops off camera because he really likes um, the slushy series that I've you know I've shared others with him, courtesy of Todd before, and he really likes them. So I think he'll like this one. Uh, price point and availability, I'm pretty sure availability brewery only. And price point, I think this one is $22 a four pack or was $22 a four pack. That's kind of the going rate for these, um, you know, five to six to seven percent uh, slushy beers with a bunch of. Um, you know, fruit, fruit puree and whatnot. And usually anywhere between 22 to $25 for a pack. For a lot of people, that's expensive for me. You know, I didn't pay for it. Again, Todd sent it my way because he's a very generous individual. But, you know, I, I uh, review and drink the liquid lollipops from Froth here and Mortalis Hydras and stuff. And those are $25 for a pack. It's kind of the going rate. So $22 for a pack, I'm all right paying that. If this, if this is $24 a four pack still, I mean, that's kind of in the realm. I think we were between 22 and 25. That's the going rate. So can't really complain too much. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. I appreciate uh, Todd hooking me up with this one. And yeah, I'm going to go drink the rest of this, uh, split it with the pops and see what he thinks. I have a feeling that he will enjoy it uh, because I'm enjoying it. And it's not crazy sweet. It is sweet, but not crazy sweet. And that's the only issue with a lot of these uh, fruit smoothie sours is sometimes they're too much. And I don't think this is too much. I'm splitting it, so I won't really know, but... Whatever. Anyway, take it easy, everybody. Thanks again, Todd. Thanks to everybody. Till the next one. Cheers.